Hey guys, Romy here. Please like, comment, subscribe. This is my review for the final episode of Scandal. This is season seven, episode 18. The important thing is that Scandal is over. This is it. So I was, hmm. Shonda wrapped the show up. That's essentially what she did. So I don't know how to truly feel about it. So let's just go. Olivia goes and talks to the sit-in attorney general, you know, the guy whose son was killed because of the drug, vi because of the gun violence. And so he's telling her that he can't do anything. He can't do anything. It's at a point where he looks compromised. There's only one way he can go and get them that meeting that they need. And so then he takes out a gun. I said, we're not about to shoot Olivia on the last episode. And for this guy, no, this isn't too many people. No, he goes and shoots himself in the face because he asked Olivia right before he did, he asked her, will Millie, me, will Melly go and uh, really focus on gun control? And so then she said, yes, she'll put it at the top of her list. And so that's when he went and shot himself. That way it would force it would force the powers that be to go and take this thing seriously about potential B613, about an undercover agency that's been working in the background, doing everything that need to do to really control America, to control the White House, to do all of that. Now, the White House is trying to do their best to go and make it look like Sally Langston is just spewing her usual foolish rhetoric. But that's not what's going on here. Cyrus goes and he rushes into Jake's office because Cyrus is trying to figure out what their name, what their next game plan is. And Cyrus is borderline about to try and bark orders and say, oh, we can't do this. We can't do that anymore. Uh, we need to get, uh, we're in a really bad conundrum. David Rosen is back. There is, with everyone else being taken out, and because he recused himself from the plane incident, this is different. This is different. So now he's officially back in play. Now, David, of course, is at Pope and Associates. We're not calling it Queen Associates. We're calling it Pope and Associates. And he's telling them that he's briefing them on here's what's going to happen. There's a great possibility you could go to jail. Everyone is freaking out. And they're just concerned about they don't have any other angle to work with. While that's going on, Papa Pope, <laughs> Papa Pope decides, hmm, no, Lily decides she's going to go and see her father. So I thought, oh, we're going to see Papa Pope for one last time. And I say one last time due to the fact that Papa Pope told Olivia that I'm not helping you out. Olivia wanted help. That's what she does. Oh my gosh, daddy, I don't need you. I don't need you. As soon as something bad happens, okay, I need you. But she, she, she doesn't realize that her dad's disgusted with the way how she's turned out. She's saying that she was molded by him to go and do this, to go and do that. He said, no, he was molded for you to take command. He was molded for you to be a boss. And Papa Pope's whole thing is, I'm sure he's disgusted by the fact that, look at my beautiful um, black daughter, this queen going and just falling on the sword for all of these people who don't appreciate her and they're white to top it all off. Let's just call it what it is. He does not like white people. We already know that. And, and he, the thought of saving Olivia isn't the problem. The thought of saving them in the process is something he will not do under any circumstances. And so Olivia needs to realize that that's the actual case. Melly. They jumped right ahead and gave her her portrait. And I said, oh, look at Millie. Look at her in that red lady in red. And she's drinking because she realizes that this is probably the last time that they'll, I'll get to see this. I'll get to be in the White House because everyone's going to go down if this doesn't work out. That's how major this is. It's a Hail, Hail Mary. Type of situation. But in comes her man, Marcus. Marcus essentially telling her that she's a good woman, she's a strong woman, and that she's doing the right thing. Forget that legacy stuff. Now's the time to go and have a clean slate. Back at Pope and Associates, Huck is in a suit, and he's fidgeting with the suit. Quinn goes, ties the suit, almost like, uh, ties, I mean, fidgeting with his tie. Quinn almost chokes Huck with the tie, and she's just like, don't worry about it. Huck is an introvert. 
he does not do the whole public speaking thing. Because he doesn't do the whole public speaking thing, he's looking at this is like, you're really, like everyone's problems is problems, but me, me, I have to actually talk from a, a bunch of people, a room full of people, 15 people, are you kidding me? Abby is looking at David like, oh my God, you're going to get another woman while I'm in jail. And I said, Abby, you know, if anyone would wait, David would wait. And of course, Quinn's just thinking about, oh my gosh, Robin, my little girl. And Olivia's like, well, look. And then Quinn said, look, shut up. I said, I will not have this Olivia Pope slander in the lot. Don't you even do. I almost went, look, little girl. But she, she called herself and said, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just had a moment. I said, okay, don't, don't. <laughs> a moment for light. That's right. That's what it felt like. It felt like a lifetime. I was not, oh, that grind my gears. But we're going to move forward. Now it's time for everyone to go and tell their truth. We see Tom. We see Hollis Doyle. Hollis Doyle is a mess. He is a mess. He talks about how, look, I did that, but I didn't do that. I did that, but no. I I, I basically went and like filled the, bet, filled the ballot box with some stuffed paper that was essentially the lengths of my crime and i said wow but then i thought about it and i said wait a minute a aside from a few keen things what has hollis doyle really done his personality is trash so that's what we judge him on but for the most part he's actually probably done the least out of this whole group that is sad that is sad tom talks about how you know cyrus will never would never dare go and do things himself and so he asked me to do it. Olivia said, look, I'm the one that told Jake Ballard, you know, the current person in charge of B613 to go and kill Bashran. So the president of Bashran. And so that was Jake who actually fulfilled it. Lord Robin, Huck, Quinn, I mean, Quinn, Abby, Huck. It was a mess as far as the stuff that they were divulging. Fitz and Melly were more so on the you know what yes i ordered that yes i was aware of that and the thing is they have nothing else to do except for to wait while all that's happening they do get the chance to go and see charlie and it was nice because huck actually married the two charlie thought they were crazy for doing what they were doing but at least they got married and Huck was keeping from crying. I said, they deserve this. They deserve this so much. They do. They they really do. For now. For now. Even though they're still both kind of trash. I mean, Quinn Cove died seasons ago and I wouldn't have cared. Charlie, he's only here because of Quinn. Don't make me go down this list. While they're doing that in the pen. Because they had 10 minutes to do that. Because Quinn had a dress and everything. I said, look at you, Quinn. Jake thought he was going to go and either threaten, well, definitely threaten, and possibly kill da, 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 David Rosen. And the messed up part is David looked at, David looked at I was so proud. And I said, so this has to happen at the end of, at the end of the series for this to happen, because Jake was doing this whole thing of, well, here's here's what you're doing and here's what you're not going to do. David flipped on flipped it on him and said, well, here's the thing. I know you because he had a gun. It was like I know how you are, Jake. You are the type that you killed James. You shot him in the back because you are a coward. You shot him in the back. So I'm not going to give you the liberty to make it easy on you. If you're going to shoot me, shoot me in the face. But let's be very clear. I am afraid. But one thing I won't do is back down just because I'm afraid. I'm a boss. You're a B. How dare you go and do this for what? For yourself? For your ego? For your id? That's for... Mm -hmm. You know, that's for my psychology people. Uh, you That's what you really care about? Do you even know who you are? I mean, doing stuff for Cyrus? Doing stuff for Olivia? Doing stuff for Papa Pope? You, all you do is follow people around, do what they say, 
whoever can give you the most attention, most affection, that's who you roll with. And that's why I'm not afraid of you. I stay true to my convictions. I don't waver. I, I was looking at David like I'm proud. So then David said, you know what? You're still standing there, so I'm going to leave. And he did just that. And then when he looked back, Jake was gone. And I said, Jake, Jake, you really let David Rosen of all people, of all people, Cyrus is pissed. Cy Cyrus is trying to figure out why did you let him go? Why did you let him go? And Jake essentially put it out there that because Cyrus was going to say, oh, you can't ever do this. You can't ever do that. And I said, Cyrus, Jake can still kill you. He's still a killer. He still has it in him. That's not what's going on here. That's not what's going on here. It's this whole thing of, Cyrus, you are a punk, huh? You are a punk. You're the type of person that goes barks orders, has people go and kill people um, for you, and you get to reap the benefits, reap the rewards. Have you ever actually gone and shot someone? Have you ever actually gone and strangled someone? Have you actually gone and beat someone to death? Have you done anything remotely involved in just killing someone outright? No. So with all this grandstanding that you do, you're doing, don't come at me. Don't come at me sideways when you don't even have it in you to go and do what uh, you supposedly want done. I said, now wait a minute. So first we have David getting Jake together. Then we have Jake getting Cyrus. I was, I mean, this felt like a fan moment because not fanning for them, fanning for what they were saying because they said exactly how we've been feeling for all these years. All of these years. <sighs> Shonda listens. She really does. Now, now David is talking to Abby and, you know, talking about how, you know, David's pretty proud of himself. Hey, I'm still here. I stood up to Jake and I won. And he's just like, I'm here for you. I love you. Whatever happens. I'm here. But then he gets a call from Cyrus. And I said, no, no, no. What are you doing? He goes to Cyrus's house because Cyrus wants to sign a plea deal. I said, no, this is Cyrus we're talking about. No. And it hurt my feelings so much because Cyrus is like, why don't you take a drink? Why don't you have a drink? I said, don't do it. Don't do it. Cyrus saw what Olivia did. He got inspired. He's a punk. He's going to kill you. He's not going to kill you outright. Outright, not alt, ooh, outright. So then, while David is drinking, Cyrus is just saying how, you know, I don't really care about people. They're trash. It, it's a lot of work, I said clearly, because your daughter was taken from you and you haven't done anything to try and get her back or even see the child. But that was really James's child. Let's call it what it is. That was James's child. <laughs> child. Cyrus is still grandstanding with Rosen like you know what you're in my way and I've manipulated done this and that all these years and I'm almost there essentially this grand speech about he's almost there he's almost at the mountaintop and you're the peak that he needs to climb that's that's what's going on right now and so then David's sweating I said oh lord no David gets on the floor he's kind of convulsing this i'm trying to think what what did cyrus give him and the thing is he's still struggling but he's still very much alive he could have probably been saved if cyrus changed his mind but why would he do that so then cyrus is looking at him and the first he was looking away and then cyrus goes takes a pillow smothers david rosen to death so the person who dies this episode the series finale is david rosen are you kidding me are you kidding me the last and only decent person on the show for a while now. Because even Marcus is compromised. Marcus, he, he talks a good game, but he's compromised. David Rosen. And Cyrus is such a punk. He had to go and put a pillow over him so that he wouldn't see his face. And, sm and then Cyrus staged it as if it was a heart attack. Staged the whole thing like it was a heart attack. And people actually believed it. I said, are we stuck on stupid? Are we stuck on stupid? Because why would I believe that it's a heart attack when this guy's the last person standing in the way of, oh, oh, oh. So now David Rosen is dead. Abby's viewing the body. Uh, 
and the thing is that not not red just viewing the body yeah abby and she's pissed she's pissed and she's hurt but she's not crying there go there goes quinn Quinn's like, wait a minute, but without him, what's the point of doing this? What's the point of fighting? What's the point of doing uh, all this? We have no options. We have no... I'm looking at you. I said, Quinn. 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 So then Abby said it. It's like, no one touched me. Quinn needs to stop that mess. He was the only decent person left among us. And now you're telling me, now you're telling me that you want to quit? No, we are going to be the White Hats. We're going to be, we're going to be what he always was. And we're going to see this to completion no matter how it ends. And I'm glad she said that because I almost, I said Olivia, not Quinn for, out for good time. J just do it once. Just do it once. Now we see Papa Pope. He's actually trying to leave. He's trying to leave. He already gave Olivia the deeds to everything and the accounts, but Quinn came over there because she was like, take me with you. Hide me out. Papa Pope said, you will be a convict. You're, you'd be automatically a convicted felon. Your husband would be screwed. You'd never be able to see each other again. What are you actually thinking? Aside from that, I saved you because I could and I did. I'm not doing it now because I am not your charity case. I am not. I mean, you are not my charity case, regardless of what you think. I'm not going to go and fall on the sword to help you, to help any of those other people who don't deserve it, out. And I looked at Papa Pope and I said, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. That didn't have that look of that usual Papa Pope. It looked like guilt. I said, ooh, I don't like that look on him. Guilt? Mm. Olivia's pissed. Olivia's pissed because she's finally giving up. She's finally accepting the fact that, even though she shouldn't be, there's no more options. There's no more options. Cyrus has manipulated this whole thing. And now the one person who could have done something is dead. They on the hill, they're not going to go and push forward without David. So what are we going to do? So Olivia puts it out there that, look, I don't need you to console me. If you want to get emotional, we can get emotional. If you want to get physical, we can get physical. Could, well, she used the phrase, we can do something else. And Fitz looked at her for a good minute. And then realize, okay, take off your clothes. <laughs> I looked at this like, uh, okay, so we're not going to see them interact. Is that just how it is? We're supposed to be left wanting more, even though the show's going to be end ending. How come, we, even though I can't say wanting more, because I don't want to see it. I don't. Hmm. Now, something weird happened. Because Olivia wakes up and Fitz tells her, the hearing was postponed. She said, what? And I said, oh, Papa Pope. He's the only person left. Papa Pope. And yes, Papa Pope is there. But as I should call him, Rowan. And how dare a room filled with rich, elitist, white, older white men. There And there, Papa Pope is talking about B613. And he's first going with his name. And it's like, my name is Rowan. I was like, oh. Is that your spy name? He said, no, that's my kill name. I said, oh, okay, Shonda. I can do a monologue for this one. I can do a monologue for this one. The monologue essentially consisted of this. B613 is real. I was the person who formed it. I, and the reason is because it's because of people like you. You know, people like you and your associates all like who have the money, the influence, but don't. They're like big babies and you have toys and you want to protect your toys. You want to keep your toys and you want to just play with your toys all day. But someone has to go and make sure that there's a roof under your head, so over your head. Someone has to go and make sure that the crops are protected so you can have food in your belly. Someone has to go and make sure that they take up arms so you don't have to. So I take care of the military. I take care of the common people, the commonwealth. I take care of the economy. I'm the reason why the economy is what it is because I make sure if it goes up, it goes up or it at least has the opportunity to go up. And if it goes down, it goes down. I am inflation. I am a recession. I am a depression. I am a prosperity. I am the Alpha, the Omega, everything in between. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. And if you don't understand that, then what are we even doing here? What are we actually doing here? The fact is, you need 
someone like me around because if it wasn't for someone like me, this great country that I wanted to make great or even greater wouldn't happen. Now, again, the thing is that even though they looked at him like he was crazy, they believed him. They believed him because I'm sure within a couple more minutes, he could have given them information that they could have said, how would he know that? But they, he put it out there that here's the thing. You don't need to go after the head. You just need a scapegoat, essentially. So that's how they got Jake Ballard. And I said, Jake is arrested. Jake is arrested. Everything's turning out right except for David being dead. But, oh, he was the sacrificial lamb. The pure one. Uh, and and everyone's happy at Pope and Associates. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Because now all the charges are dropped against them. Olivia went to visit Jake in jail. And Olivia, now here's the thing, because Olivia is trying to be a better person, she's trying to see where her faults are and acknowledge them. That takes a big person. And Olivia is not the type that normally does that. So she's really trying to change. And that's the only reason why she did that. Olivia went and apologized to Jake and said, I'm sorry, you know, if I didn't tell you to come with me off the island, you could have had a new life. You could have done this and that. Jake is a killer. He will have gotten bored without you. That's the reality. Whether it was Papa Pope, Cyrus, someone else, he was always going to follow up under someone else because he's someone that needs to be attached to someone else. So Olivia, when you go and apologize to a man like that, really? No, you don't need to do that. How dare you go and apologize to someone like that? Even though I respect it as far as growth, is trash because I don't like Jake. And let's call it what it is. And I'm glad Jake said, look, I did what I did. I'm living my life regardless. And he had that longing look. I said, Olivia, go. Because we're done here. I don't care what he has to say. I don't care about the rest of the monologue. We're done here. That's it. That is it. Don't do that again. Don't do that again. So Sally Langston is happy. Great. Perfect. Beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. Cyrus, he's still there, and I said, the evil is, the evil's not dead? What? So Cyrus comes in with a drink. I said, oh, guilt, stress. While Olivia wants him to go and resign, formally resign. And Cyrus says, do you, what do you say? Do you, do you, know, do you know how to appreciate a drink? What did he say? Come on, Cyrus. That's what it was. Can you still enjoy a drink? And originally, I said, if Cyrus is trying to kill Olivia, because that's where my mind went. But no, Cyrus talked about how, <sighs> no matter how hard the days were, what happened in the past, he could still have a drink and it would clear his mind. I said, Cyrus, you know, they have stronger things besides alcohol, but we're not trying to do that. We're not trying to promote that. Well, for Cyrus, maybe. Well, actually, no, because he might be off the loony bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick to that drinking, Cyrus. Here's the thing. Cyrus is not a killer. Cyrus is the type of people, type of person that he's, he, he's, he's a psychopath. But he's still not a killer. So with him killing David Rosen, it crossed the line even for him to physically do it. And I'm looking at Olivia like, so Olivia, look at all the people that you, and you actually had a physical hand in, and yet you have, you're happy as can be. Mm -mm, you're Papa Pope's daughter, true and true. So Cyrus signs because Cyrus realizes, look, mm -mm, I did all this scheming and I can't even enjoy any of this. So I said, oh, that's cute. But when is Cyrus going to jail? Because I hate this whole, he has to live with his sins. Hello, Olivia is living with her sins. So I'm sure Cyrus can figure it out. <laughs> trash, trash. Anyway, Olivia talks to Melly, essentially tells Melly, I want to officially resign. I'm not coming back working for, I won't come back to work for you because you have this, you've got this. You can do this. And the thing is, Olivia spent a lot of her time convincing people that they couldn't do things without her. So now this is her damage control. Her damage control say, you can, you always could. And please, she'll have Marcus, so she'll be fine. But 
the important thing is shh, Melly is capable of doing it and Olivia she can't do that whole power thing kill the, she she's sacrificed enough she's helped enough people went to war for too many and for unjust stuff and she wants to be a better person so she says she's done she's done she just wants to do whatever she wants and so then i feel like there was possibly a time lapse i don't know but i feel like there had to have been like a time lapse we see we see robin i mean we see quinn and her baby robin and charlie so they want to be happy fam that baby was so fat i was like oh so cute Fitz finally got to do his portrait unveiling. Melly took the first steps to major gun control reform. I said, okay. With her man beside her, Marcus. I said, look at Marcus. Look like a bad bee. <laughs> look like a bad bee. <laughs> I said, Mar Marcus, if you don't. Jake, who's actually happy. Of course, Jake would be happy in jail in solitary confinement. Just dreaming about Olivia all day. I said, oh my God. Olivia, she's having dinner with papa pope and they seem happy they seem genuinely happy like it's not fake they gave up all of it quinn was there at david's uh tombstone with huck and they put you know the symbolic rocks it's just the thing that they do you're always connected with someone in the air and then we see these two younger black girls and i said okay they're in they're seeing all of, mm, i don't know how i feel about they're going to see all these former presidents. And then we see Olivia walk and Fitz goes and meets her in a, like with a car caravan. And she was like, hey. He was like, hey. No, he was like, hey. She was like, hey. And I said, oh, here we go. And I'm, my thing is, I'm trying to figure out who those two girls are. Because they were looking at a beautiful portrait of Olivia. And she had... A white blouse, red, a red belt, um, you know, at the waist, and then this dress, and what did it say? We the people. And so I said, wait a minute, and it was with her natural hair. So I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, when did this happen? Uh, that's why I felt like was it a future. A, you know a future lapse or a time lapse i don't know but it's it's over i'm not gonna say that it wasn't bad it was just uh, i think i wish it was two hours if it was two hours that would have been amazing but it's over but please stay tuned for the other stuff that i have thank you guys it's been real